And also, if you want to, of course, be a part of our Patreon, our Think Tank click that we have going on over there, join the movement. Anybody can join. Don't matter where you are, a part of the world. What's up? What's up? What's up with the Bankhead Bounce, shawty? You know what's up. George Clooney, Dick Rod, and Barack Obama. That's what's up. Okay, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm really sick of, of George Clooney. We about to smoke yeah. on George Clooney. Pack. Please finish this article. All right, then. So listen, folks. George Clooney has been useless. <laughs> All right. Uh, go check out his filmography. He has a lot of box office flops. <laughs> he flopped. George Clooney flopped. made me believe the Illuminati was real. It is real. It is very he, real. He flopped with Brad Pitt recently. Yeah, 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 yeah. George Clooney, I didn't understand it. I know as a kid, my mother, even when she was at the pawn shop getting DVDs, she was like, who's in this? And she would see his face. She thought, oh, baby, you can pass. Give me the next one. Give me the next one. Where's the Tom Cruise movies at? That's what she was looking for. So Yeah, I was uh, yeah, Tom yeah. Cruise. Yeah, Tom I wasn't Cruise. I was looking for George Clooney. No. And plus, I didn't know what he was. <laughs> He's a dark-skinned Caucasian. <laughs> I didn't know what the hell he was. <laughs> Cuban, Mexican. I, I thought he was Jewish. All right. Like a, a Sephardic Jew. I thought he was a Jew-Mexican. <laughs> Something with... <laughs> a Jew-Macan. I didn't know what the hell George Clooney was. <laughs> well, uh, Johnny Depp was the more popular dark-skinned yeah. Caucasian. Because he looked like a lesbian. <laughs> like the white women that are pissed off at Bill Burr right now. <laughs> Just saying. But anyway, let's get into this because, you know, George Clooney and Obama, that whole Democrat side, the DNC specifically, again, the DNC, if you vote Democrat or Republican, I don't care. But we're speaking to the DNC, okay? Oh, twerking ass DNC. They're quiet right now. They're quiet because remember, they had George Clooney lead the charge on the behest of. Of Barack Obama, and we know Barack Obama and George Clooney, they tend to hang out a lot, too, by the way. That's another story. But actor George Clooney, a longtime fundraiser for the Democratic Party, called for a new nominee to replace Josephine Bakerface Biden and revealed the president he saw at a fundraiser in June was the same man we all witnessed at the debate. <laughs> George Clooney ain't But why man. George Clooney's always in other people's business? He did this with Fran Dresser. Dressen. I'm glad you brought that up. We I mean, put Dresser, that up. yeah, Fran Dresser. The when nanny. She was doing the, the boycotting of Hollywood for the Actors Union and all that. He's a slave catcher. And he went and tried to usurp her authority. And she had to tell him, like, look, you don't know what yeah. you're talking about. Shut up. Well, let's put that on the stream. And actually. then he cleaned it up later and gave her a congratulations when she was able to successfully net you a deal. So net, did you put her in the thumbnail? I put her in the uh, uh, the the B roll. Yeah. Okay. Then friend dresser, dresser, like you said, yeah. friend dresser. All right. Then George, then he, she nah. got style. She got grace. Yeah. So it appears here that George Clooney is a Slavic slave catcher. I do think that. Okay. You know what? What's the example in hip hop? Yeah. Oh wait, who we said was like the snitch in hip hop that was trying mm. to uh, destroy all business? We said okay. it was Diddy. You saw how what Diddy did to black people yeah. in the industry or how Charlemagne uh, sabotaged Joe Budden's deal with Spotify? Right. That's what George, George Clooney. Clooney is in white space. That's what he is. He's a Slavic slave catcher. You guys got to keep that in mind. George Clooney cost you all the election. <laughs> and I, I, I want us to get that narrative out there. <laughs> it's very important. Don't hide now. George Clooney. Right, because Gavin Newsom is going to lie and try to blame it on black people. They're going to come out and try to blame black, it on black, black people. Black people holding the vote. Yeah. And white Hollywood is the reason why y'all lost. No, it was this burnt skin, <laughs> white Caucasian here <laughs> that cost everybody that was going to vote for Kamala <laughs> the election. It is the bromance from hell. George Clooney messed everything up. He <laughs> <laughs> just got a burnt face. George Clooney. Uh, a toaster of the face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, air fry ass face. <laughs> okay. All right, croissant headed ass. <laughs> okay. Yes, Gavin Newsom is. They're going to be coming out. They're going to somehow try to spin it in the direction of the blacks and saying that black people withheld their vote. And that's why the election got tanked. No, it was George Clooney who put it out there that Joe Biden 
was acting slow on stage. Right, and black people did. Some black people did withhold their vote as they have the constitutional right to do. Uh, to your point, Prince, no matter what, at the end of the day, it's still George Clooney's fault. It's his fault. Who wrote this letter? <laughs> Who told you to hate Joe Biden's hair? Well, let's even go Who further. made you ashamed of his brain? Prince, let's start some trouble. Go yes. to the Morning Joe. Can you put in Morning Joe when he called out George Clooney you and and Obama's bromance yeah. and how they were purposely trying to usurp yeah. Jim Crow Joe? That is true. Let me put that on there. The Morning Joe, George Clooney, because he was banging on George Clooney. I was he like, was. The Morning Joe, George Clooney. And, you know, that's him with uh, Zbigniew Brzezinski's wife. No, daughter. <laughs> All right, George Clooney. Let's see here. Let's go ahead here. Yeah, because the Morning Joe, he was getting at him. Let me see something here. Yeah, but Morning Joe, George Clooney. Damn, did they delete it? No, they better not have deleted that. Okay. That was a, a, a one of their few good episodes. Wow. Because when they was, they, was, they was spilling the behind-the-scenes tea. Let me, I, let me see if I can put this on X because we know Elon Musk keeps everything. Oh, uh, we do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, just put, be... put Morning Joe Obama. It may be the Obama. Okay, okay. Yeah. It there we go. Like, all right, then. This the should month. be it. Yeah, okay. So some people. <laughs> all right, we're going to put this back on the screen. This man here, Georgie. Yeah, you know what, Sin? I might have to go back to X. Yeah, they did. They took it off of YouTube. I think I remember what happened. They removed the episode. I'll find it. How about this? I'm Just send play it to it. me. See if you can send no, it to I'm gonna me. No, I'm going to play it through the mic. All right, then. But, you know, these are the things that they did. Because, you know, they, right now they're trying to find a way to put it into black people's hands. You know? Oh, yeah, because, Gavin, look, yeah. I, I think. I don't trust there's, Gavin. There's a party right now with white elites, yeah. celebrities, it's the blacks. that are mad and basically. Uh, the trying thing. to 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 target black people as they usually yeah. do. So uh, I told you, don't white liberals are not your friends. Y'all gotta be careful with them. All right, especially when they got blotchy chests and their shirt is open with nothing under it, like Gavin Newsom. So here it is in an op-ed published in the New York Times on Wednesday. Clooney writes that Biden, he was with last night. Okay, like the Biden that he was with last month was not. The Joe Big Effin Deal Biden of 2010, or even the Joe Biden of 2020, in the face of concerns over a second Donald Trump presidential term, he says the Democratic Party has opted to ignore every warning sign. I want you all to remember this again. George Clooney, dust till dawn. <laughs> He put it, they, George Clooney, <laughs> with his Grammarly AI written letter, just put America to sleep, ladies and gentlemen. The America that you all wanted to vote for. Because some folks have gotten upset and they got angry with us. And they said, whoa, 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 They want to get angry except for everyone who sabotaged their people. Yeah, I said, Get no, angry no, no. at Hillary Clinton. Get there angry you know. at uh, the Obamas. Get angry at uh, the, his sugar, I mean, uh, not sugar baby, uh, George Clooney. <laughs> Y'all know who to get mad at. Leave the podcasters and platformers yeah. alone. Stop fucking crying to us. Yeah. Stop having panic attacks. Go get mad with the people who sabotage your the people you was fucking with, the Democrats. Go after the people who fucked up the the, oh, the, the runway. Here it is, and I think I may have found it. Okay, Prince yeah, has I, found I, it. I found a piece of it. Let's see what he said. We'll say one thing that we do have to underline here just so, so, so viewers can... can can follow what's going on behind the scenes is is the Biden campaign and many Democratic officials do believe that Barack Obama uh, is is quietly uh, working behind the scenes. Ooh, can you retweet that too? <laughs> retweet, tweet. Let's play that one more time, folks. You know, and, and, and listen. Some people are asking in the chat. It's, it's, wait, we should have kept Dementia Joe. I'm saying this. This is what we're saying. Do not have these DNC operatives come out and blame black America and they did not blame Batman. And okay? the worst Batman. All right. We're talking about Joel Schumacher, Batman. Rest in peace to Joel Schumacher. He's actually a talented director. You know, the Batman and Robin, that's another conversation we'll have on another particular situation. But anyway, yeah, so I want people to understand that George Clooney and Barack Obama Got it going like this. Let, let, let's see what Morning Joe had to say. One thing that we do have to underline here, just so, so viewers can, can follow what's going on behind the scenes, is, is the Biden campaign and many Democratic officials 
do believe that Barack Obama uh, is is quietly uh, working behind the scenes uh, to orchestrate this. Let's say one thing that we do have to underline All right. so, 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 so viewers, viewers can, can, can follow, follow what's going, going on. Just wanted to put that on the screen is, is, is because, see, they're right now, they're trying to... They're trying to do a rebrand of a lie and a loss for you all, okay? We have wonderful people that have shared their concerns with us on um, Patreon and, and Gmail and Twitter and DMs and everything. But I, I want y'all to, to understand this real quick. Look, they ran a bad play. Remember now, if here's the thing about Hollywood. So if Kamala Harris had won, George Clooney would have. Oh man, he would have had another billion dollars. They would have gave him because remember Diddy was talking about how uh, <laughs> he's the sugar baby of Hollywood. They he love, did say that. They love giving George Clooney mm. money. He gets a lot of things. That's why he thought he could play Monopoly with yeah. the uh, Democratic Party with his uh, his BFF Obama. People got to remember that he he he, he, they, he wrote they wrote the letter. Barack Obama came out right, and the the, the play it it just didn't go over well.